Now that we have learned the tetrachord pentachord nicknames, names, and accidental signs, we can now move on to Cessni calculations. Now let's try to create an USAC pentachord on the rast pitch and illustrate the Cessni calculations. First, let's write a tetrachord on sol. The pitch values in this tetrachord will be listed as sola tanini nine commas, la si again tanini nine commas, and si du bakiai remaining four commas. And thus, it is seen that a tetrachord has 22 commas. Then, again, starting from sol, let's place the intervals of the usac tetrachord. Hmm, again, starting from sol, let's place the intervals of the usac tetrachord. Sol la büyük mücenneb k8 commas. Resi küçük mücenneb s5 commas. And finally, si du tanini nine commas. As can be seen, the intervals of the soldu tetrachord and the intervals of the desired usac tetrachord are different from each other. Now let's equalize these intervals one by one. Let's start from the first interval, sol la. The pitch of rast on which we set up a tetrachord is fixed and it is not possible to move it up or down. It seems that we should narrow the range from 9 to 8 commas. For this, we equate the interval to 8 commas by placing 1 comma flat on la, which is the second pitch. As a result of 1 comma flat on la, 9 comma la si interval, expanded 1 more comma to 10 commas. In order to make this interval, the second interval of the usac tetrachord, we need to make a narrowing of 5 commas. We flatten by putting a 5 comma flat in front of C and we make the interval 5 commas, which is what we want. Normally, the si do interval, which is 4 commas, bakiai expands to 9 commas. With the addition of a 5 comma flat in front of SI, thus, the third and last interval of the USAC tetrachord is formed.